called The Littlest Altar Boy by Jenny Allman. So as you see just right off the beginning, we have the boy, he's holding his candle and he might look a little nervous. Okay. Today was a big day at church for me. It was my first time as an altar boy, and I would help I was I would be helping Father Basil serve the liturgy. I was very nervous. I couldn't find a robe that fit me. They were all too long for me. I was hoping I wouldn't trip over here getting his robe on past his feet being an altar boy is really hard work we have to hold the candles we have to cut the bread and prepare the incense you see the different jobs that the altar boys are doing over here father basil is cutting but the altar boy is holding the book for him to read the prayer Well, the older boys do most of those jobs. I just get to hold the candles, but that's okay because I know I'm doing a good thing for God. While I'm standing in the altar, I like to look out at the church and watch my family. There's Father Basil serving and the deacon, and there's the first time altar boy peeking out through the royal doors. Today, my sister made a funny face at me, and I made one back. I think grumpy old Mr. Papadopoulos, sitting behind my sister, saw me making some faces. He frowned and shook his head at me. He does not look too happy about that. I hope he doesn't tell my parents. I try not to look at them again. My robe was super itchy around the neck. It made me scratch and tug at my collar. It was so heavy. I felt like I was wearing armor and it made me really hot and sweaty. Ugh. I worried I would sweat so much, it would gush out of my robe and flood the whole church. Then God would have to send Noah and with his ark and save us all. I hope that wouldn't have to happen. See the great entrance going on right here. It was time to line up for the great entrance where we walk in front of Father Basil while he carries the holy gifts. So again, if you see over here, the little altar boy is second in line holding his candle. Another altar server is holding the cross. And there's the censer with the deacon and Father Basil holding the holy gifts. Processing around the church. I could hardly carry my candle holder. It was taller than me and really heavy. I tried to walk very carefully and grip the handle tightly. What if I dropped it? Hmm. My candle would crash into Nick in front of me and probably catch his hair on fire. He would look like the burning bush Moses found in the desert, except this would not be a miracle of God. Dimitri, I see you think it's kind of funny. Do you see his little, he's thinking in his mind what might happen. On the way back to the altar, I had to concentrate really hard on my steps so I wouldn't trip. We had almost made it back when I felt the long hem of my robe catch my foot. There's his robe. His foot got stuck. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh no! I stumbled and lost my grip. See his hand? He's losing the grip and 
all of a sudden, a hand shot out and grabbed the candle before it hit the ground. It was Mr. Papadopoulos. He handed me my candle back and gave me a wink. He didn't seem so grumpy and mean after that. If Mr. Papadopoulos weren't a good Samaritan, my candle would have burned down the whole church. And he's picturing right up here. Mom and Dad would have been so mad at me, and Father Basil would never let me serve in the altar again. I'm glad I didn't do that on my first day. Church is over, and Father Basil said I did a great job. I told Mom and Dad I want to be an altar boy every Sunday for the rest of my life. Someday, I want to cut the bread like the bigger boys and hold the censer for Father Basil and lift the napkin when he gives people communion for the chalice. I hope, I hope by that time my robe will fit me better. For now, I'll just be the littlest altar boy. <laughs>